Rise, my apprentice. Count Dooku, a respected Jedi Master, is known for his elegant lightsaber combat and deep connection to the Force. However, he grows increasingly disillusioned with the Jedi Council's complacency and the Republic's corruption. He spends his days teaching and advising, yet a sense of unease gnaws at him, exacerbated by the recent events on Naboo. The death of his former Padawan, Qui-Gon Jinn, weighs heavily on him, fueling his belief that the Sith have indeed returned. Yet the Council remains passive, preferring to maintain the status quo. Disappointed and restless, Dooku begins to question his place within the Order, feeling an ever-growing urge to take matters into his own hands. Following Qui-Gon Jinn's death and the Jedi Council's reluctance to investigate further into the Sith's return, Dooku receives a cryptic message. It's from an old ally within the Republic, hinting at a deeper conspiracy. The message speaks of a shadowy figure manipulating events from behind the scenes, someone with influence over both the Republic and the Trade Federation. Intrigued and unable to ignore his suspicions, Dooku decides to follow this lead, setting him on a path that will challenge his faith in the Jedi Order and reveal the dark underbelly of galactic politics. Dooku, initially hesitant, grapples with the implications of the mysterious message. He questions whether this is a genuine lead or a trap set by enemies of the Jedi. Torn between his duty to the Order and his growing suspicion of corruption within, Dooku wrestles with doubt. He seeks counsel from Master Yoda, hoping for guidance. However, Yoda, wary of Dooku's increasing disillusionment, advises caution and patience, suggesting that the dark side clouds judgment in such matters. Determined to uncover the truth, Dooku seeks out an unlikely mentor, Jocasta Nu, the Jedi Temple's chief librarian. Recognizing Dooku's scholarly nature and respect for knowledge, Jocasta offers her expertise in uncovering hidden truths within the temple's vast archives. She becomes a guide for Dooku, helping him navigate the labyrinthine records, uncovering obscure references to ancient Sith lore and anomalies in the historical records. Through their research, Dooku gains valuable insights, strengthening his resolve to pursue the truth, no matter the cost. Armed with new knowledge and a burning sense of purpose, Dooku decides to leave behind the constraints of the Jedi Order, embarking on his own investigation, he follows a trail of clues leading him to the darker corners of the galaxy, where Republic laws hold little sway. His first stop is the industrial world of Fondor, where he learns of a secret meeting between key figures of the Trade Federation and an anonymous benefactor. Realizing he's stepping into a larger conspiracy, Dooku crosses the threshold, fully committing to his quest to uncover the dark forces at play, even if it means confronting dangers he's never faced before. As Dooku delves deeper into the conspiracy, he faces numerous challenges that test his cunning and resolve. On Fondor, he discovers an underground network of informants and spies, revealing that corruption runs deeper than he imagined. He encounters a diverse cast of characters, some willing to assist him, others seeking to thwart his efforts. Among them, a disenfranchised Republic senator becomes an unlikely ally, providing Dooku with crucial information on secret dealings within the Senate. However, Dooku also attracts the attention of powerful enemies, including bounty hunters hired to eliminate anyone digging too deep. Through these trials, Dooku hones his investigative skills, becoming more determined to expose the truth. Dooku's investigation takes him deeper into the galaxy's hidden networks, where he encounters former associates of Hego Damask, prominent figures in the banking and trade sectors, and those who benefited from Damask Holdings influence. He uses a mix of diplomatic charm and calculated pressure during these interrogations, uncovering details that reveal just how far-reaching Damask's financial web was. Through hushed whispers and reluctant confessions, Dooku learns that Hago Damask had a shadowy side, a reputation for hidden ambitions beyond mere wealth. A few sources, visibly nervous, mention rumors that Damask held powers feared even among the powerful. As Dooku pieces together these accounts, he realizes that Damask, far from simply disappearing, may have been more than just a wealthy financier. He was likely a Sith Lord, one whose fate was sealed by his apprentice under the Sith's rule of two. This chilling revelation shifts Dooku's focus. He now knows he must find this apprentice, the true power behind Damask mysterious disappearance. However, as his interrogations grow more pointed, Dooku begins to notice patterns suggesting this apprentice is not lurking in the shadows of crime syndicates or on distant worlds, but is instead highly placed within the Republic itself. He reflects on his suspicions about the growing corruption in the Senate and the subtle shifts in Republic policy. The clues are falling into place. If this apprentice controls both the political and economic power Damask left behind, then they could manipulate the Republic from within. Each interrogation draws 
draws him closer to a singular, haunting conclusion. The Sith Apprentice may already be hiding within the heart of the Republic, pulling strings that few would ever notice. Now Dooku's task is clear, he must expose the Sith before the Apprentice's plan fully unfurls. As Dooku closes in on the truth, his leads become more perilous. His questions have stirred rumors, and whispers of a Jedi sniffing around the Republic's powerful circles have reached the wrong ears. Word of Dooku's progress reaches Palpatine, who realizes that Dooku is dangerously close to unearthing the Sith's hidden presence. Deciding that Dooku must be stopped, Palpatine covertly orders his new apprentice, Quinlan Vos, to handle the situation. Meanwhile, Dooku reaches a critical lead, a high-ranking Republic official once tied to Hago Damask's network. As Dooku prepares to meet the source, he is unexpectedly joined by Quinlan Vos, whom he assumes is a fellow Jedi sent by the Council to assist him. Quinlan plays along, feigning interest in Dooku's investigation, and asking subtle questions about Dooku's suspicions. Dooku, appreciating the presence of a trusted comrade, lowers his guard around Voss, unaware of the dark intentions behind his former ally's friendly facade. When they arrive at a secluded location, Voss strikes, launching a swift and brutal attack on Dooku, revealing his allegiance to the Sith. Shocked and deeply betrayed, Dooku narrowly defends himself, realizing that Voss, once an ally, is now Palpatine's weapon. As the fight intensifies, Dooku's shock transforms into resolve. Quinlan Voss is skilled, his agility and cunning honed under Sith teachings, but Dooku's mastery and calmness in battle prove superior. Their duel is fierce and relentless, filled with a heartbreaking mixture of anger, sadness, and duty. Ultimately, Dooku gains the upper hand, defeating Voss in a final, devastating move. Voss, wounded and unmasked as a Sith, reveals nothing but contempt in his final words, speaking of the Republic's rot and the Jedi's blindness. Though victorious, Dooku is shaken to the core, his heart heavy from having killed a former friend. This brutal encounter reaffirms Dooku's fears. The Sith have infiltrated the Republic and even the Jedi Order. He realizes that no one can be trusted, not even those within the Jedi ranks. Now more than ever, Dooku is resolute in his mission to expose this darkness, knowing that the true Sith apprentice lies even closer to the heart of the Republic than he first feared. With Quinlan Vos's betrayal still fresh in his mind, Dooku takes time to process everything he's learned and to regroup. The ordeal has not only hardened his resolve, but has also provided him with new, critical insights. As he searches Quinlan's belongings and the remnants of their last hideout, he discovers encrypted communications, brief but telling fragments connecting Vos to powerful figures within the Senate. One name appears with unsettling frequency. Senator Palpatine of Naboo, Dooku recalls his few encounters with Palpatine, a charming and influential figure who always seemed to understand the Republic's pulse and curiously the Jedi's blind spots. Piecing together everything he's learned, Dooku realizes that Palpatine has been carefully manipulating events from the shadows, subtly influencing policy and guiding the Republic toward a dangerous path. The evidence, while circumstantial, is too strong to ignore. Palpatine's connections to both Damask and Voss point unmistakably toward him being the Sith apprentice Dooku has been hunting. This revelation is as empowering as it is chilling. For the first time, Dooku can see the Sith's full plan taking shape. Palpatine is not only embedded in the Republic, but is positioned to steer it toward civil war. With the Jedi caught in the Middle as unwitting pawns. The Republic's decay, the unrest among the Separatists, the military buildup, it all leads back to Palpatine and his covert Sith ambitions. Now armed with a clear understanding of his true enemy, Dooku realizes he must act quickly. He prepares to confront the Jedi Council with his findings, though he knows it will be nearly impossible to sway them without direct evidence. But he's also beginning to accept that this mission is his alone, a path that no other Jedi could walk with him. Knowing the immense challenge ahead, Dooku steals himself, prepared to do whatever it takes to end Palpatine's plans, even if he must stand against both the Sith and the Republic itself. Dooku's resolve is unwavering, but his path is more dangerous than ever. With Palpatine now confirmed as the Sith Apprentice, Dooku realizes that his every move must be cautious. He's aware that Palpatine will be expecting resistance, especially with the loss of Quinlan Voss, and that any misstep could spell disaster. As he discreetly navigates the corridors of the Senate and the Jedi Temple, Dooku knows that he's under watch, with Palpatine's network now undoubtedly on high alert. Dooku attempts to confide in the Jedi Council, but his findings are met with skepticism. The Council dismisses his suspicions as paranoia, unwilling to believe that a Sith could infiltrate the Republic at such a high level. Frustrated and disheartened by their blindness, Dooku realizes he cannot rely on the Order for support. He's alone in this fight, and if he's to confront Palpatine, he must do so without the backing of his fellow Jedi. The isolation only fuels his determination. He spends days gathering the last bits of evidence he can find, speaking in whispers to those who have worked with Palpatine, piecing together a clearer picture of the Sith's manipulations. Each conversation, each 
each lead brings him closer to understanding Palpatine's endgame, the creation of a galactic conflict that will weaken the Jedi and centralize power under Sith control. Dooku realizes that Palpatine has positioned himself as a puppet master of both sides, orchestrating the Republic's descent into chaos. With all his preparations in place, Dooku makes his final plans to confront Palpatine, knowing that he may not survive the encounter. The looming threat of his own mortality does not deter him. He is ready to sacrifice everything to prevent the Sith from consuming the galaxy. As he sets off for the final confrontation, he accepts that this may be the last act of his life as a Jedi. But he moves forward with a calm certainty, knowing that whatever happens, he is standing on the right side of history. Dooku makes his way to Palpatine's private chambers, using every ounce of his Jedi training to remain undetected. The Republic's opulence surrounds him, a glaring reminder of the corruption he's about to confront. As he enters the chamber, he finds Palpatine waiting, an unsettling smile on his face. The facade of the charming senator fades away, replaced by a presence steeped in darkness. Palpatine's voice is calm, almost taunting, as he acknowledges Dooku's investigation. I knew it would be you, Jedi Master Dooku. You were always one to dig too deep. Dooku steps forward, unshaken, his lightsaber igniting in defiance. Your charade is over, Senator. I know what you are. The Sith will not rise again. Palpatine chuckles, unfazed by Dooku's threat, and reveals his own lightsaber, red as blood, igniting with a hiss. Their duel begins, a fierce and deadly clash between two masters of the Force. The battle is intense, their lightsabers cutting through the darkness, illuminating their faces in brief flashes. Dooku's style is refined, elegant, every move calculated. Palpatine, however, fights with a raw, unpredictable fury his strikes embodying the dark power he wields. Dooku feels the weight of the dark side pressing against him, but his resolve only grows stronger, determined to rid the galaxy of the shadow. As the fight escalates, Dooku realizes Palpatine's power is unlike any he has ever encountered. The Sith Lord's cunning and strength in the Force are terrifying, but Dooku taps into his own reservoir of skill and experience, refusing to be overwhelmed. Through sheer will, he matches Palpatine's relentless assault, gaining the upper hand in a moment of intense focus. In a final final, powerful strike, Dooku lands a critical blow, mortally wounding Palpatine. Palpatine stumbles, his face contorted with a mixture of rage and shock. He realizes, perhaps too late, that Dooku has succeeded where others failed. But as Dooku approaches to deliver the finishing blow, he senses his own energy waning. The battle has taken its toll, and he too is fatally wounded. Dooku collapses beside Palpatine, both men breathing their last in the darkened chamber. As his vision fades, Dooku feels a sense of peace. He knows he has saved the galaxy from the Sith's grip, even if his victory will go unnoticed, his name lost to history. In his final moments, he understands that he has fulfilled his duty as a Jedi, becoming a forgotten hero who protected the galaxy before anyone realized it needed saving. 